Tim Panasic for Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we're going to discuss the difference between uh, single engines versus uh, twins. This seems to be a topic of uh, concern almost every day that our sales team has to confront. So we're going to do our best to uh, try to give you some ideas on the pros and cons and to helping you make your decision that's best suited for your application. We're in our noisy shop right now, so we just wanted to show you a couple of examples. Right here, we've got a 28-foot uh, Kingfisher. It's our Coastal Express boat. This is getting rigged with twin 150s, but this boat can literally be rigged with anything from a, a single 175 up to a single 350 and a variety of twins. So we just wanted to point that out because this is going to be something that we'll talk about. We also have a 25-foot Stavy craft here, and the same thing goes for it. It can be rigged with both uh, twins or a single, in this case, we are going to put uh, twin 150s on it. We'll just show you what it looks like here. And like the 28-foot uh, Coastal Express with the Kingfisher, the Stavy Craft would also work with a number of different engine combinations, which we'll explain to you when we move into the showroom where it's a little bit quieter. So back in the showroom where it's a little bit quieter, we'll discuss the pros and cons of these configurations. So typically in our business, the debate's going to be singles versus twins, generally from 22 up to 28 feet. There are some really good arguments for why people want twins versus singles, but there's also some debates that we quite often hear that I just want to shed some light on. So the first one is, is that a lot of consumers feel that, hey, if I got twin engines, I'm going out to the ocean, I'm going to be way safer. If one engine quits, I've got a second one that's going to bring me back home. Well, there's a lot of things to think about in that statement. First of all, again, every application is unique. Now, the two hulls that we showed you in, the, in our shop, that application or that statement can be correct. However, it is going to depend upon the load that you're carrying in the boat, the sea conditions, etc. So in a lot of applications, a lot of people feel they got twins so that if one engine goes down, the other one's going to get them back, but they don't give the thought of, can that single engine actually get the boat up on step? Because in a lot of cases, it won't. So if it won't, a kicker engine isn't going to go a whole lot slower than what a single engine would if it's not going to get up on step. Now, the reason I'm saying that the two boats in the shop are a good example is that those even with a single 150 on them, will get the boat up on step with a fairly good load on it. Now again, that's going to vary depending on how a customer loads his boats, sea conditions, etc. like I said earlier. But in those applications, yes, singles versus twins, that argument that the single offers you a little bit more safety is true. However, there's a caveat to that, and that is, is that the good news is we don't see many issues as far as mechanical breakdowns and failures on the water. The biggest problem that we do see, however, if there is going to be a failure, has to do with fuel most often. So most boats have a single fuel tank. You've got twin engines. You're pulling from the same fuel source. So if you've got contaminated fuel, I don't care how many engines you got on your boat, you're going to have the same issue. So I just wanted to point this out so that People don't feel that, hey, twin engines, I'm safe to go. I've got this reassurance of another engine because that's not always the case. The other thing with trying to get home on one engine that we can briefly touch on is that lots of times, you know, the propeller pitch that we put with the twins would be certainly a higher pitch versus if you had that single engine on there. So you can consider carrying a smaller pitch propeller. But again, is it going to be the counter rotation propeller that you carry? Is it going to be the regular rotation? Uh, you know, there's where the controversy comes in. As far as uh, some uh, facts are fairly close to being factual are going to be, uh, let's talk about cost. Typically, it's going to cost you more money up front to put twins on than a single given the same horsepower. So if we use the boats in the uh, shop as an example, twin 150s versus a single 300, the twins are going to be a little bit more money up front. The other costs that are going to also increase are going to be your rigging. So you need dual controls. 
Your steering system is more complex, so there's definitely going to be more upfront cost with twin engines. Also, cost of maintenance and ownership is going to be a little bit more. Now, that being said, twins can also offer some advantages. The biggest one being is if you're going to today joystick steering. So if we have a customer that's uh, got it in the budget, wants joystick steering, and that's important, then we're not even going to have this discussion. The twins are the way to go because that's the only option that you have to get that feature. However, another thing to consider is that if you're not going with twins because of joystick or joystick isn't something that you're prepared to pay at this point in time, the single engine, as far as performance, is going to be relatively the same as the twins. So in other words, twin 150s on those boats that we just showed you in the shop versus a single 300, your fuel burn, your fuel range, your acceleration, everything's going to be virtually identical, both top end speed and cruising performance. So that's another thing that's really important to note. It's going to be very similar. Once you get into a heavier hull, let's call it our 28 foot offshore and bigger. Now, when you start carrying that much weight, there are definitely benefits to going with twin engines where you got the extra gear case and prop in the water. But that's another discussion that we won't talk about right now. We're just going to continue to focus on that 22 to 28 foot mark where there's a lot of debate again, do I do single versus twins? So I can probably chat about this for hours, literally about different boats, different configurations. But in a nutshell, if you're considering anything from twin 90s to twin 200s, and these applications that we talked about versus a single engine, a single B and anything, you know, typically 200 to 350, 400 horsepower. In this weight range, I think that there's a good debate that either configuration can work for you. I wouldn't let the safety aspect weigh that heavy in the decision for the reasons that I stated earlier. I think it's more important to determine how you're using your boat how are you trolling? How many hours are you going to be trolling versus how many hours are you going to be cruising? And those are the applications where you have to really sit back and think about that. So as an example, a lot of people will go with a large single engine and a kicker beside it, which we now, you know, 9.915 or the new 25 horse that Mercury just came out with. And the argument there is, is that I'm spending most of my time trolling why not put the engine, the hours on the less expensive engine versus putting all those hours on my bigger engine? The other thing with trolling with large engines is that it is important that if that's what you have is two twins, say 150s or 115s, because those would be your two most popular. At the end of the day, if you've spent six, seven, eight hours trolling, you definitely should take that uh, engine for a good run, probably 15, 20 minutes in the higher RPM range to get the condensation out of the crankcase and to keep your oil cleaner and just it's just healthier for the engine. So again, these are other things to consider. Uh, I can continue to go on and on with a different subjects with that, depending if it's a 22, a 24, a 26, or a 28 foot boat. But overall, it's kind of going to be the same story there. So if we showed you the water performance tests, they're going to be very similar, given similar horsepower. Twins are going to cost you more money up front with the engines, more so with the rigging, but it does offer benefits if you're going to go particularly with joystick steering and take advantage of some of those features. I'm hoping this helps a little bit. Um, like always, like us on uh, YouTube and uh, continue to follow us for more videos like this.